Hey guys, so I just made a video about her yesterday because apparently, uh, if you saw the video, Lil Tay died. But now there's stuff coming out that, you know, her father, her uh, ex-manager or something, won't confirm if she's dead or not. Um, see, uh, Christopher Hope told Insider he could not comment on the Instagram post and declined to answer whether his daughter was still alive. Um, speaking to the New York Post, Hope said, yeah, you have the right person, but I don't have a comment right now. I'm not able to give you any comment right now. I'm sorry, I can't. If your daughter just died, why wouldn't you be able to comment? This is, this is very weird. Um, and this is from a video. I, I was trying to find the actual article it was from, but, um, Hope relocated, relocated Los Angeles with her family. Uh, the LA County Coroner's Office told the Daily Beast that no, they had no record of Claire Hope, Claire Eileen Chi Hope, or her brother in their system. Furthermore, the police department in Vancouver, where Claire was believed to be living as of 2021, said it hadn't, it hadn't received any reports of their death either. As of right now, we are not aware and are not investigating, the PD told the Daily Beast. Uh, the, coroner's office, the coroner in Vancouver did not immediately respond to a request for information on Wednesday. So this is very, this is all very, very weird. The fact that uh, the father can't say whether or not she's actually dead. I mean, I really hope this isn't a, oh, we're loot and loss, you know, we're, we're, we're low on money. Oh God, our daughter and son died. Please give us your money. I, I really hope that this isn't the case because this is all seeming very, very, very suspicious. The fact that, you know, you have a coroner's office saying, no, we have no record of them. Uh, police saying that there, there is no investigation. Uh, this is seeming very, it's just, it's just seemingly very, what's the word I want to use? I think yesterday when I said ominous, I mean, either something did happen and they don't want anyone looking into it or she's still alive. And this is all one big publicity stunt. And if it is, they obviously aren't considering the repercussions of their actions. Because do you really think people are going to be watching them after all that comes out? Do you think people are going to be donating to them after that comes out? They're going to be forced to be like refunds to everyone to give back all the money because they decided to say that their daughter was dead when she wasn't. So this is all very, very suspicious. Uh, again, if your daughter died, why would you not comment? Why would you not be able to comment, you know, uh, uh, to confirm that she is in fact dead? I, 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 I'm not able to give you any comment right now. Not con declined to answer whether his daughter was still alive. So, I mean, by not doing that, the parents are just making themselves look pretty sus. Uh, so I decided to go back to the Instagram post. And uh, luckily enough, there are comments this time. Uh, and I feel like they did something dirty to her. Um, how does she even die? And along with her brother, you exploited her and now you probably killed her. So sad. Something horrible, something horrible happened here. There's not an investigation going on for no reason. I mean, apparently there's not even an investigation going on. Sickening. You use and exploited your children for fame and petty pocket change. But. Um. All right, so I found an, an actual article, somewhat. Uh, rumors about Lil Tay's death being a hoax swirl after police say no records were filed and her father and former manager both declined to comment. Um, that, 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> yes, Snopes, the most, um, you know, reliable of sources. Um, like everyone's trying to figure this out. It's like, Tay, or is it a hoax? You know, because it's awfully suspicious that there's no cor the coroner said there's no record of them being there. You know, they're not, you know, no bodies have been brought in. The police say that there's no investigation. Both the father and the ex manager refuse to give a comment. So I, um, It's just very strange. You know, and with the way this family was and how dysfunctional, I wouldn't put it past them to do something like this. But I think they have in their mind that once it comes out and, you know, into the light that it was a hoax that people will just forgive and forget, they're not going to let them forget. If this is indeed a hoax and that Tay is still, you know, Claire is still alive, people are not going to let them forget that. They will. They can forget about employment. They for, can forget about real, uh, real lives for the rest of their life because they're, people are not going to let them live that down. It's like you used your child. You exploited your child, claiming that they were dead for internet clout. So I don't think, to, if this is indeed a hoax, I don't think it's going to go over the way they think it is. You know, it's, they probably got it in their mind that this is going to be this some master plan. They're going to make a lot of money. I don't think it's going to go over the way they think it's going to, if this is indeed a hoax. If Claire is still alive, and that this is all some publicity stunt, uh, I don't think it's going to work they, they want. If, you know, people are refusing to comment, and coroner's office said, oh, they were never, th you know, there's we never had them ever come in. Um, I... It's just very, very suspicious. And I would say I can't imagine people doing this for fame, but nowadays, yeah, I can. And that's the sad part. People will exploit children like that for these reasons. You know, you see all those family channels and how many of them are exploiting their kids, you know, basically fist, uh, verbally abusing them just for internet clout. So, I don't know. Apparently, I, I, I said yesterday about waiting for the investigation, but apparently there is no investigation. There's no investigation. There's no, there's no one. They were never at the coroner's office. So, what the hell? What the hell? <sighs> yeah, just very ominous and foreboding, really. But... Yeah, I saw this. I thought I you guys would be uh, interested in because I mean, for if, if she did die, fourteen years old, that's so young. But if this is turning out to be like a hoax and it's like no investigation, no this, no that, people are refusing to comment. And why wouldn't you comment on whether or not your daughter's alive? If my daughter just died and someone, I would say yes. Unfortunately, she has. You know, it's a great loss, and we're going to miss her dearly, and we're trying to cope right now and, and, and grieve. But it, it's like, uh, uh, I can't really comment on the situation right now. Why not? What are you hiding? So, anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.